What are the original causes of fears and terrors that now seem to dominate the planet? Well, the answer to this question is quite simple, really, in a lot of ways. And that is, <clears throat> fear is the direct result of us not understanding the truth. So all of our terror and all of our fear that now dominates the planet is due to the fact that we don't know the truth about how the universe works and how everything runs. And the main reason why we don't know the truth is because we've accepted the lie mm -hmm. and we believe the lies are true. And that's really what fear is. Fear is false appearing real. Yeah. So, so what we've done is we've actually created a, an unreality, if you like, from God's perspective. We've then called it real. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we're going to have lots and lots of fears and terrors associated with it. Now, this began through the process of Amon and Amman, the, the first human couple, decided to m make the first step into untruth. And the first step into untruth was that we could be gods. Mm -hmm. In other words, we could be not just self-determining beings, which was what God created us to be with free will, but rather God-like or gods in that we could actually tell God what to do. we could tell God what to do we could create our own laws we could create our own and this and this idea or concept was the was the first inception of a lot of lies of a lot of errors but with every error comes the penalty of the pain of the error and the pain of the error is always fear is always fear associated with the pain of any error mm -hmm. and this is the problem is that every time we deny truth Fear is automatically created on that particular subject. Now, what's happened over many, many tens of thousands of years historically now is that initially man created the monster error, was that, <laughs> which was that we could be God or we could be gods. Right? That's the monster error. You know, there's only one God, there only ever will be one God, and there'll only ever be one creator of our entire universe, and we're never going to be gods. We may become very much God-like in our nature and personality and so forth, but in the end, we'll all be dependent upon the laws that God's already constructed and created. Yeah. The real God created these laws in the universe so that anarchy couldn't exist. Yeah. And, and what happened was mankind, humankind, stepped into anarchy. And in that process of stepping into anarchy, a lot of untruths began to be taught. Mm -hmm. The first untruth being that we can be God. Mm -hmm. And then it began, then of course that's a pretty monster untruth. And of course that then means that any other smaller untruth is much more easily accepted. Yeah. And so what happened very rapidly historically is that this monster untruth, which was the beginning of all the untruths taught, and began to be taught and, and, and encouraged. And each untruth begets another generally. Yep. And eventually each fear creates more untruths as well because the, the, the fear created by the previous untruth then has the problem of creating another untruth generally. This is a problem with fear, with lies. You have to lie more in order to maintain the reality you've now constructed, mm. right? And the problem with this process is that it's been an a going, ongoing process since the first human couple, and it very rapidly came into being as a result of the big monster untruth that was told right for, at the oh, first. Oh, I love that. I want to call it the big monster untruth. It's far more uh, yeah. exciting than the original sin. It is the biggest untruth that still affects humanity today, and it's the biggest untruth that affects our development of becoming at one with God. It, it stops us from becoming at one with God. And, and so it's a monster untruth, right? And, and, and this big untruth, the biggest one of all, caused then our ability to accept other untruths, mm -hmm. which are smaller, but, but just as dangerous. And as each untruth becomes accepted, it, be, it becomes the lie appearing real. It's yeah. fear. It's yeah. fear now. And every single fear now that occurs occur, is occurring because of all of these untruths that everyone believes to be true. Yeah. Now, that is the major cause of all of the world's untruth, all of the world's problems with regard to fear and terror are all caused by the fact that very few of us now know the truth, God's truth we're talking about now. If all of us knew God's truth 
and we really felt it because the only way to know God's truth is in your heart, in your soul, and we really felt it, there would be no fear Mm -hmm. at all. There would be no terror at all. We would not experience terror. Even if someone tried to murder us, we wouldn't feel terror because all, once we have all of these truths inside of our soul, we are not afraid of anything anymore. Also, we would be in a state of love with God, like we would be receiving God's love and we'd be at one with God in that location. And as a result, we would be also knowing that we're loved. So the other error, and the other untruth that you're not worth anything, <laughs> would not be possible to enter us. And so we would not walk around as we do today believing that we're hard, but to blame for a lot of things that we never did and that uh, other people are to blame for things that we did. <laughs> Both of them come from the same primary cause. Yeah. And none of those things would be occurring either. So, so we need to start seeing that all of this fear and terror that's on the planet is the direct result of our acceptance of lies. Now, once a person understands that, they become a lot more dedicated to finding out the truth, not only about universal truth, but also about the truth about themselves. Mm -hmm. Because they understand that the problem associated with lies is it causes all fear, causes all terror, causes all pain. So, So every time you imbibe lies, you are automatically automatically going to create pain, Mm. automatically. Mm. And you're automatically going to create suffering and therefore you're automatically going to create fear and terror. You said every time we imbibe lies, so every time we accept them as As truths, as a false belief. Mm. What about every time we just allow them or accept them? Well, that's imbibing a lie too. Why would we ever allow a lie? You know, it's only because we've already allowed another lie, which is that you, you're not allowed to speak up about lies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, or we might have beliefs that, you know, you tell the truth and it's painful. No, it's not painful. Lies are painful. Mm-hmm. We need to get, uh, you know, these fundamental principles about God's truth right. Lies are painful. Truth is never painful. Yeah. Truth never causes pain, ever. Truth exposes the pain you're already in because of the lies you accepted. You know, so, so for example, a man who's cheated on his wife, he has, by not telling her the truth, caused her to accept a lie. Mm-hmm. It's the lie that's going to cause her pain. If he never cheated on her, there'd be no pain. Yeah. Right? He cheated on her. He lied to her. There's now going to be two pains, the fact that he cheated and also the fact that he lied. Mm-hmm. And, and, and both are untruth. Both are based on untruth. He did it for reasons that are not justifiable ever. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, he needs to work his way through whatever that is. But every time you choose to do these things and avoid, and avoid the truth, you are causing error and pain. You're causing pain, suffering. You're causing terror on the planet. Yeah. And this is why I keep saying to people who listen to divine truth, mm-hmm. the importance of living in truth is, is the most important thing you can choose to do. Every time you withhold truth, every time you step away from it, every time you avoid it, every time you lie, every time you perpetrate another lie on this planet, you are going to cause pain to yourself, you're going to cause pain to others, you're going to create fear and you're going to create terror. It doesn't matter what you did it for and what reason you did it for, they are always going to be the results and that's what we need to see. So, so this is the primary cause and, and we need to see it as the primary cause if we're ever really going to become truthful ourselves and if we're ever going to become a healer to the planet, we need to understand that basic principle that every time we lie, allow the lie, allow it to perpetrate, every time we lie to ourselves, every time we lie to others, every time we lie to God, every time we do all of these things, we are just perpetrating more fear, more terror more problems, more pain, more Mm -hmm. suffering, Mm -hmm. and we've got to stop. (laughs) And we've got to stop even if we're only the first one who stops. (laughs) Yeah. And even if everybody attacks us, we've still got to stop (laughs) because without stopping, we're never going to stop the the continual cycle of this multi-generational fear and terror which pervades society. Mm -hmm. Mm. Thank you.